And what a group mailbox does is it receives email and it places a copy in the mailboxes of the members of the group. But you don't have to pay for a distribution group. If I have a workspace basic paid subscription, then how many email addresses can I create? Okay, good question. Each time you're working in a Google workspace mailbox, you will pay per bucket of email. The buckets of email in my business, Sarah, John, Peter, each of these will have email address attached to it. Then each one of those will have to pay for their email address. Now there is a workaround. We can also add aliases to a mailbox. When we add an alias to a mailbox, we don't get charged. So let's say for example, I want uh, media inquiries for the business to go to Sarah, but I don't want the public email address for media to just be Sarah at itgenius.com. I would say media at itg.com is an alias for Sarah at itgenius.com. And an alias is pretty straightforward to set up. You go into the Google Workspace admin panel, you go to directory and then to users. You choose a user that you'd like to add an alias for, and then you click onto user information, alternative email addresses, and you add the alias there. In this case, it's going to be media at itgenius.com. So what other email addresses can we create? Well, we can also create a group email address. So let's say as an example, that group email address is something like info at my company. Info is going to be used as a distribution group. This is important. A distribution group or just a group email address. Also, it works at itgenius.com. And what a group mailbox does is it receives email and it places a copy in the mailboxes of the members of the group, but you don't have to pay for a distribution group. So that's an email address that works, but you don't have to pay for it. That's a free email address. Now, the final step that you might be interested in creating is a shared mailbox. A shared mailbox is a mailbox that includes data itself, but it's shared to multiple people or multiple people can access it. If we set up a shared mailbox, this time it's a bucket of email and that bucket of email can be accessed by multiple people depending on who you share access to. And that's called delegated access. And we've got other videos on the channel on how to set up delegated access to a mailbox. A shared mailbox is a bucket of email and those emails live in the bucket. When you've got a distribution group, nothing lives in the bucket. They all just get distributed out to the mailboxes. Now, this would be most appropriate for something like sales at your company, because you might have two or three different people who are using that mailbox and they need to access that mailbox. And when they read the list of emails that are in there and reply to one of them, you want to mark it as read so everybody knows that that email has been read. That's what we use a bucket of email for. And guess what? Because it's a bucket, we have to pay for it. So they're the kind of email addresses that you can create. The simplest way to remember it is that you pay for each time you create a bucket of email, but you can create some free email addresses like aliases or distribution groups. A distribution group is effectively an alias that goes to multiple people and then shared mailboxes because they're a bucket. You got to pay for those. If you need more help with what we've covered in this video, IT Genius provides support services to businesses all over the world with problems just like this. Click the link below to get started.